I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Jess is a mess here. I'm Jess, my entire life is a mess, and today we have the long-awaited Stein sweater tutorial. Whew, it took a while to get through this one. Also, you may be wondering, Jessica, where is all your hair? Um, it's back here. It's actually long enough to be in a ponytail now, so that's cool. Also, I am feeling a little bit better, so if I seem more cheery, that is why. So, there is one thing you need to know about this video. I lost a little bit of footage, and so I am going to be appearing. This is future me is what uh, this <laughs> me will be known as and I will pop up randomly throughout the video telling you hey didn't get to film this part here's what you need to do even though I lost some footage I think this is a really good way to go about making a Stein sweater especially um, because it's a really cheap version there's no sewing involved unless you want to sew you totally can um, but for me I <laughs> didn't want to. <laughs> All the materials you will need for this tutorial will be down in the description box below, so go check that out and I will include prices on everything that I can include prices on that I like remember. Now on to past me, who will tell you uh, what you need to do with your sweaters. First of all, you're going to need to get two sweaters, one a dark gray sweater and one a light gray sweater, and uh, make sure that the light gray one has a turtleneck. Um, for the darker gray one, mine is a v-neck, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a v-neck, so that's probably wasn't the best choice on my part, but it's too late. I already bought it. I don't have any more money. We're going from here. So I can either turn it around and use this side or uh, just live with the v-neck. The dark gray one needs to fit to you because we are just going to cut up the gray one mostly. We do have to cut this one a little bit, but um, we're just going to cut this one up and then glue it to this one, but I just don't want to spend time sewing anything. And I also don't know where the plug is to my sewing machine, so I'm going to use liquid stitch. It looks like this. It's about three or four dollars. Uh, totally worth it. It says it will last through washing, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't personally washed anything that I've done with it, so. And then you will need two types of black elastic. Um, obviously, <laughs> I've used mine because it's on the sweater, but these are the ones that I got. It is Sewology, and I got these at Hobby Lobby. You can also get the same kind of stuff at Walmart. These are going to be these stitches around your sweater. Make sure you get one that is 3 8 inch wide, and then one that is 1 4 inch wide. I don't know if you can see the prices, but this one was $169, and this one was $129. So, boom, right there. So I'm gonna start off by cutting the turtleneck off. Uh, cut a, quite a big circle so that you can fit it under whatever your dark sweater looks like. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by sectioning out where I need to do the cuts by using a sharpie. So this is where I lost some footage. So you saw me cut out the neck piece, all right? Now you just need to cut off the sleeve and do not cut on the hem of the sleeve, cut around the sleeve. You know what, I'll show you. This is the completed sweater inside out. So when you cut out the sleeve of the gray one, you don't want to cut on the seam. You wanna cut around the seam so that you will have place uh, or space uh, to glue it. So that's all you're gonna have to do. Just cut out the sleeve, it is the left sleeve, I believe. <laughs> that totally fucking rhymed. You will need to cut out the left sleeve. Bam. And then that's where this leaves off. Now we're going to cut out this section and you will see footage of that. And don't forget to cut that sleeve in half so that it's right above the elbow. Now we're going to move on to cutting the middle part out of the light gray sweater. Just sort of draw an outline in Sharpie of what you think would look good and then cut that out. Take that cut out gray part and then cut that in half in the back so that we can wrap it around the other sweater. Once you have the parts cut out from the light gray sweater, we can move on to the dark gray one and we're going to cut the sleeves basically in half to where uh, when you wear it, it'll be cut right above the elbow. Now we are going to glue the light gray part onto the dark gray sweater. So hopefully you can see the kind of shape that it should make at the very end. You don't have to glue over the entire surface of the gray part, but you do need to get all of the edges. So just make sure that you glue it all the way around. Now we are going to cut off the left sleeve. Um, and I'm going to cut mine with a little bit of spare room just in case this sleeve doesn't fit perfectly. Now I have turned both garments inside out. You can see the tag. And then I am gluing this one, little piece, onto this.
Now we're almost done. All we have left to do is the stitches. So you're going to need to get your elastic. Uh, both elastic pieces, remember one's a little thicker, oh, <laughs> one's a little thicker, one's a little thinner. So I'm going to take my stitching glue and we are going to glue the thicker elastic band across the uh, space of the sweater. Make sure you get it in the middle of where the light gray sweater meets the dark gray sweater. Now we are going to add our thin stitches. Uh, here we go. We're gonna add these all the way across here to match this one. It doesn't have to be all straight across. Steins are usually pretty mismatched, so one can be this way, one can be straight, uh, one can be, you know, that way. <laughs> so have fun with it and make whatever stitches you want. All right, here's where I lost some footage again. So basically all you need to do is do the stitches the same way that you did here, up on here. And I will tell you that again when I'm in costume. So now this is the point where you guys can choose to either go ahead and glue this onto here, or you can just go ahead and keep this a separate thing. I honestly think that is going to make it much easier in wearing it. Um, so you can just like put this on by itself and then you can put this over it. And I just think it makes wearing it a lot easier. And that way, like, if you're done at a convention and you're on your way home, you can just take this part off and just be like, oh, freedom, you know? And you won't have to deal with wearing it all the way home or having to change after the convention. So that's what I like doing, just for the ease, just for the ease of it. I'm going to be wearing a lab coat, so I did not put stitches on the back. You totally can if you plan on taking the lab coat off or wearing it without the lab coat. All right, here's to me in cosplay. Once you have all of these stitches glued on, this is your finished product. And don't forget to do the shoulder over here. Uh, same thing, thick line around the band and then the thinner elastic pieces there. Here is a very big flaw that I did that you should not do. Um, there's a v-neck in the back. Don't get a v-neck. <laughs> That's just silly. Um, but I am a silly person, so of course I made that mistake. I also don't have any stitches on my face right now. Ignore that fact as well. Ignore a lot of facts that are happening right now because I am a mess. As you guys know, the channel is called Jess is a Mess. Don't be, you can't be surprised by now. I'm really glad that I was able to do it without sewing because sewing sucks <laughs> and it's, not fun. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with the outturn. Um, I wish it was easier to get in and out of, honestly, but that was my fault again for getting a sweater that was a little too tight. Um, so again, try to, you know, make it a little free-fitting. Uh, it'll be easier all the way around. And now you know how to make a Stein sweater. Hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes and have fun making the sweater. And if you do use this method to make your Stein sweater, be sure to tag me on like Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I'm on a lot of different social media platforms. I will have those down below and you guys can connect with me and I'd love to see how it turns out. I really hope they will turn out as good as mine because I'm actually pretty happy. I'm pretty fucking happy with how mine turned out except of the few mistakes that I made. So I hope this wasn't too confusing for you guys. There was no way I could make another Stein sweater and film it all and make it good. I just, my sanity could not take it. Thank you guys for sticking with me and watching this video. I really hope that it helped you out. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, if that weren't obvious by this video, but I hope that you guys can join me on the journey to finding out. I'll see you next time. Bye. Literally, my screw just completely fell apart. Uh, quick thing to know that if you ever want to make your screw out of styrofoam, <laughs> don't. I don't know what I'm doing with my foot in this foot in this footage. Oh my god! I did it again with the other foot. What the hell? I don't know what's happening. You can make an awesome sign sweater. It sweater. <laughs> Now you can make an awesome Stein sweater. Sweater. <laughs> so, oh, we are just going to glue the gray part onto. Wait, they're both gray. We just had to have a doggy door. <laughs>